Yes. And this is like this. Um, so I see lots of effort of, of, of sharing information, working to similar standards, and getting to know each other so you trust each other. And I think the question I have has two points. One is, do you also try to agree on what, what document is issued at the end of the inspection that characterizes the opinion of the inspector? I mean, Europe has something called the GMP certificate. Yeah. America, the FDA has a very complicated process of a 483 and EIR and finally a letter of approval. Are you also trying to come up with something? Yes, we have. After the inspection process, we have the report, of course. The, the, the our weakness among the members that are referred is the way we apply and we interpret the differentiation and classification. Because, as you know, it's not an easy work. Um, we all share the same knowledge, but when you saw something, you have different point of view. You can look at it as more critical or less critical, according with your knowledge and background, or according with the, the risk assessment you do during the process. And among fixed members, if I understand your question, our main objective is to grant it that when we perform the inspection in Portugal, in Singapore, in South Africa, in England, wherever the, the, the final judgment of the company is similar among us. Not the same words, but the same the, and the same, same type, and the same conclusion. But the same type of paper, the same format of paper. It's not obligation, but we all use the same format. Okay. okay, we all use the same format normally, yes. It's and one of is it the only way to share information because we share our report among us and after we share that information that we realize that sometimes the way we write deficiencies are not we don't use the same approach or the same kind of language. Particularly because I'm Portuguese, he is in English and we have Chinese Taipei and other countries, yes. 